It's all the little things that add up for sure. You know, since the 80s, I've learned to recycle. So that's just kind of in my nature already. And if I see someone throw a plastic bottle, you know, in a trash can, I'm like, what? And I'm that guy that I'm like, Are you, come on. And I will yell at you. Um, I don't like to use bottles that much, plastic bottles. So what I do is I have a big jug that I drink all my water in just from that, that I just recycle that over and over again. I've had that for years. It's this huge 7-Eleven big gulp <laughs> that I've just used for years. Um, so I've, I haven't used a plastic bottle in a very, very long time. And now since we're experiencing the drought, uh, I've learned so many different little things like turning off the faucet when you're brushing your teeth or brushing your teeth as you shower. It's those little things really do add up. Well, I have a rule in my house, if it's uh, mellow, if it's yellow, it's mellow, if it's brown, flush it down, not to be too graphic. Uh, I also, um, I like to compost, you know, I actually don't do the composting, but I do collect it, and then the gardener puts it on the flower beds, because I do have a few flowers. The lawn is, you know, a disaster. I had a fountain in the front yard that hasn't been on for, you know, a year. Um, when I take a shower, I turn off the water while I soap up and shave my legs, uh, you know, shampoo my hair and then turn it back on. Um, and it's funny, you know, you think, you wonder, I live by myself, you know, at the moment, so you wonder if that little bit actually makes a difference, but I still feel a sense of victory and a tremendous responsibility to contribute. So whether or not it's just a tiny drop in the bucket, eventually all those drops fill the bucket up. It's funny, the other day the guys from the water company came and they did a, a meter check and they were very good about it. They called me up personally and said, you know, there seems to be a leak or something maybe where you're losing a quarter of a gallon a minute from your on your meter. And so I immediately went out and couldn't find it. So <laughs> now I got to go out and find it because that's a lot of water. And I think if you if everybody went out and looked and checked their their actual meters, they'd see that just a small leak adds up to a lot of water being, you know, washed down the drain. Well, what I do at home, of course, I compose a lot, all the edibles, and uh, I had to get rid of my plants uh, because they needed too much water, and I live in a gated community. I had a letter from Homeowners Association saying, you cannot save your plants, get rid of them, the ones in the pots. So after my garden had left with all those beautiful, beautiful plants, flowers and pots, because I had no use for them, I turned around, looked at my backyard and it looked like a rock. And it, it, it just dawned on me that we're doing it. We're doing it to ourselves and we have to be more mother, much more than we are right now. So it just kind of organically happened and then all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, I don't know.